Hi, I'm Robert Lipsight. In my new memoir, An Accidental Sports Writer, I write about the first time I ever saw Muhammad Ali. It was 1964, and he was Cassius Clay then. I was in Miami Beach to cover Clay's first fight against Sonny Liston. He was a 7-1 to one underdog. The New York Times real boxing writer didn't think it was worth his time. So the paper sent another kid down. Lucky me. It was the big break of my career. That week, the Beatles were in America for the beginning of their first American tour. The champ, Sonny Liston, refused to pose with them. He took one look and said, who are those sissies? So the Beatles ended up at Clay's gym, trying to get a photo op with him. Clay was late, and when the Beatles tried to leave, guards pushed him up into a dressing room and pushed me along with them. They were cranky, cursing, predicting how Liston would knock Clay out, the little wanker. I wrote it all down. I felt like the fifth Beatle. And then suddenly, the locker room door burst open and Cassius Clay filled the doorway. The Beatles and I gasped. He was so much bigger than he had looked in pictures. And he seemed to glow and he was laughing. Hello there, Beatles, he roared. We should do some road shows together. Make some money. The Beatles followed Clay out to the boxing ring. If I hadn't known better, I would have thought they had choreographed the whole thing. The Beatles lined up and Clay pretended to punch them. They fell down like dominoes. A few nights later, Clay handled Liston almost as easily as he had handled the Beatles. The who? Because that first day, after he had finished boxing, he was in that dressing room getting his rub down and he beckoned to me to come over and he whispered, so who were those little sissies? They were all the greatest in my book, an accidental sports writer.